Few Christians really spend all that much time in their church buildings, and most don't minister there, they get ministered to. Where they spend most of their time and have their most opportunities to have an impact on others is the workplace. We're going behind the scene at some of America's businesses to show you why marketplace ministry may be God's next big move. The average time that an American spends in business, 46 hours a week. So the, the opportunity for influence through the marketplace is just phenomenal. Terrence Chapman heads up a worldwide effort to help businesses led by Christians take their rightful place partnering with God. It's called the Fellowship of Companies for Christ International, FCCI. Bobby Mitchell helped start it up four decades ago. Billy Graham made the statement uh, about 10 years ago that he believes the next great move of God will be through the marketplace. There are 5 million churches worldwide, but far more businesses. I mean, you're talking 90 million businesses around the world, 28 million businesses here in the U.S. How important, even sacred, is your work to God? Well, so much so that the Old Testament word for both worship and work is the same. Avadah is the Hebrew word for work and worship. Mitchell says he loves spreading through FCCI this truth that worship and work and walking with God should all be rolled up together. Robbie Thompson, head of Conklin Metal Industries, likes the way Ecclesiastes sums it up. There's nothing better for man than to eat and drink and find satisfaction in his work. And that is a gift of God. And really, it's the gift from God. Every day, Thompson has these goals for his company and life. Honor God with how I work, how I deal with employees and coworkers, uh, and to uh, glorify Him, really, in all that I do and to create a company where people can find that satisfaction. But bosses can't force their workers to convert. And if they want to accept Christ, and that's great, we would encourage them to do that, but we would, would never pressure them to do that. They can, however, talk about Christ and His ways to those who want to hear about Him. He really is the answer to every problem, uh, whether, it's, whether it's depression or addiction or worry or you, know, you name it, uh, he, he is the answer. And he wants to be the boss's boss. God is the owner of your business. He's in the corner office. What if every decision is taken to uh, God the Father before you even do make any decisions? FCCI began with Mitchell, one Christian businessman, wanting to live his life with integrity. My life did not reflect what I said I believed. Then he was shaped by the book In His Steps, in which an evangelist gave a church a famous challenge. Face every issue in life by asking what would Jesus do and to act accordingly. As the head of Georgia's Applied Ceramics, Mitchell and other bosses began meeting in 1977 around Atlanta to see if they could head companies like Jesus would. Soon they started FCCI, and now it supplies videos, materials, and case studies to help all its members in 139 countries do business God's way. We just streamed some material to 30 million people in Pakistan. But their core is meeting weekly in small groups of business leaders. This is an opportunity to come together, talk about real business issues and challenges. So we're not a Bible study, we're a real business uh, type of organization. And I've seen co people sell companies, buy companies, uh, totally re-engineer companies based on the input they got out of these small groups. For business leaders, it's often lonely at the top, which is why it's good there's small groups just for them where they can do life together, learn from each other, be held accountable by each other. You know, a CEO's job is probably the loneliest one in the world. I mean, who are you going to complain to, right? You got, you got a board, you have a, a staff, you have, you know, uh, you have nowhere to kind of kind of release. And that's what the FCCI small groups offer. A safe environment that they can be transparent, they can be open, they can talk about these business issues and challenges. They want to uh, honor the Lord. They want to get it right. It's really talking about how do you operate a business in a way that glorifies the Father. Mitchell says it's the best way to live. I'm a pure entrepreneur, but the most exciting part of my business career has been walking with the Lord through this business. Wherever God has planted you, you need to bloom. Paul Strand, CBN News, reporting from Norcross, Georgia.